Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. I'm so happy you guys are here and kicking off your week with me. So I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in the US, and I come to my YouTube channel every single Monday for a movie for you guys. So I create a quick, easy to recreate card tutorial for you guys. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you follow me and know every single Monday whenever I have a new movie ready for you guys. So today we are gonna focus on Sweet Stockings. This is a super cute pack of paper, especially for you animal lovers out there. This is just a small sampling, but let's see where we can find it. We are in the July through December 2021 mini catalog. And if we flip to page 30 and 31, we will find this entire suite. Look at these adorable little cuties here. So we have got a bundle with the stamps and the dies. We've got that super cool paper, which is a 12 by 12. Um, there is some really neat felt here that you could use to create your stockings if you wanted to have a little texture to that. We have our uh, little dots here, our matte decorative dots, which are kind of deceiving, I think. Like, I didn't really jump on them here because I thought they looked huge, but then when I got them in real life, I was like, oh my gosh, I love them. And then we have some cute ribbon that coordinates as well. So let's go ahead and get started with a really cute project I have for you guys. But first, since you're a captive audience, I want to make sure that you guys all know you can also head over and join me on Jody Breckbill Stamp and Queen on Facebook. So if you head over there, ask to follow, or I'm sorry, go ahead and follow my, my page on Facebook. I'm there every Wednesday. So Wednesday, I'm there live. Monday, I am here with a movie Monday on YouTube. All right. So head over there, ask to join me for some stamping fun. Then I want to make sure since we're talking about sweet stockings, I do have a very fun class coming up. It is a sweet little stockings class, and it is going to focus on the suite that I just showed you. And I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. It is Saturday, October 30th, 11 a.m. Eastern time on Zoom. So everyone from all over the country can join. We have been having an amazing time with our Zoom class. And then we play bingo as well. So the class is uh, $35 and includes everything that you need to create the projects. There's some little gifts for you, some treats, uh, coupons to use, all kinds of things that you'll get in your class. And then afterwards we play bingo as well. Uh, bingo is totally free. Um, but we do have some bingo fun for uh, prizes. And we are using the sweet stockings. That's what we're going to focus our projects on. But it is the 30th. So join me because we're going to dress up. So it's totally optional. But if you feel like you want to wear a cute little hat or a cute little mask or put on your full Halloween costume, let's do it and celebrate with each other on Zoom. Saturday, October 30th. Registration is open now. And uh, the information can be found through my mailing list, which you will find in the comments comments below. So make sure you ask to join my mailing list and then you will find the information there. If you get stuck at all, give me a give me a shout and let me know. The other thing I want to let you know as well since we're talking online is I have my online BOGO sale coming up October 8th, 9th and 10th. This is the this is the group that it is on on Facebook. So you want to head over there, ask to join and you can get into the Facebook page and this is where that sale will run. This is how I am getting rid of all all of my retired, out of date, uh, previously loved Stampin' Up! products. Okay, so you can actually get them for free. And the information is the, on that group underneath announcements. Also, email, it goes out in an email. So if you're not on my email list, make sure you get on my list so that you get all the details on that BOGO sale so that you know how you can earn my uh, retired items for absolutely nothing. The other thing I wanna shout out real quick, cause I know lots of you guys love the Christmas card themed paper pumpkins. This will be October's kit, the All Is Calm, All Is Bright kit. And you may subscribe or purchase a prepaid up until October 10th in order to get that beautiful kit. And yes, that is exactly what the box will look like whenever you get it. All right, my darling. Time to stamp. I told you a lot of information in a little bit of time. So time to get with it. How about it? So as I said, Mondays I come I come to you via YouTube with a quick, easy card tutorial or project tutorial. This one is no different. And I do love the fancy pants projects that are very intricate and time consuming. 
but my heart lies in the quick and cute because I send a lot of cards, I make a lot of cards, I teach a lot of stamping, and so most of you guys want to have quick and easy projects that you can recreate at home. So this is an eight and a half uh, by five and a half piece of basic black cardstock folded in half. That will be our card base. Then I took a piece of white, which is five and a quarter by four. It should be, it looks like it's a little big, so let's see if we can um, I don't have the right paper, the paper cutter. So either my black is too short or my white is too long. So let me check on that. BRB. All right, my love. So sorry about that. My basic black piece was cut a little bit shorter than it should have been. All right, let's do that again. So I have a piece of five and a quarter by four basic white, and I went ahead and embossed this ahead of time with the star crossed embossing folder. This is a really cool embossing folder that is from that holiday uh, mini catalog or the JD mini catalog. So I'm also going to grab a piece of basic black and a piece of designer series paper. So let's see what size they are. My basic black piece is four and three eighths by three and one eighth. And then my designer paper is three by four and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach those two together. And then we can add that to our card. And I'm using Stamp and Seal. I absolutely love the Stamp and Seal. I know some folks struggle with it. I think I want my stars on the top. Some folks struggle with it. If you are one who has some struggles with the new Stamp and Seal from Stampin' Up, go ahead and check it out on my YouTube video. I created a special video to try to help everybody you figure out the use of it. But I really have not had any trouble. I absolutely love it and it is a good, strong adhesive. We've been needing a good, strong adhesive because I've been having way too many things fall apart. And so I really am a big fan of the Stamp and Seal. Um, another thing I like is the Tombow, the green multi-purpose glue. So now I've got a piece of our gingham black and white ribbon here, and I'm going to attach that to my card front. And it's just going to run right down the side here. This one had been out of stock for a while, and it is now back. So if you guys um, had been waiting for it, it is now back. You can head over to my online store at jodybreckbill.stampinup.net and you can grab yours before it's too late. I have a feeling it's super popular and it could sell out yet again. All right, so there we go. There's the basis of our card. Now I have two circles. Those are from our layering circles dies and our cherry cobbler ink. So the sentiment I chose is going to be Santa Paws is coming to town. So we're going to stamp that right there on the white circle. And that's all I have for the stamping here. But I did do a couple things ahead of time just to save a little bit of time here. So we'll attach our circles together. There we go. And I'm gonna grab some dimensionals to add this to my card. So some pop tarts as they are lovingly called in my studio. And it's just going to hang out right here on the side. There we go. Now, ahead of time, I did grab the little kitty face and one of the stockings. So I stamped them in the memento. I'm going to do a little coloring with stamp and blends, and then I had die cut them with the coordinating bundle. So here's the stamp set that I used. 
and here is the coordinating set of dies. So a lot of you guys ask me about these magnetic sheets. These magnet sheets are amazing. They come from Stampin' Storage and I am actually an affiliate for Stampin' Storage. So you can use my link and um, it does not affect your points or your rewards at all. It just means when you use my link, I get some credit, okay? That's all there is to it, but it does not affect your rewards or your points at all. Now I will tell you as of today, uh, which is Monday, October 4th, right? Yes, today is the 4th. I'm not sure what day it is. Um, today, uh, we are running a, a special fall sale. So actually, everything in the store is 15% off. So you can check the link down in uh, the comment section. You can find my affiliate link. Um, so anyway, I used right here this stocking, and there is the little kitty head that I cut them out with. So I'm going to start off here with a little bit of dark cherry cobbler and I'm just going to do a little bit of detail with the dark here where it would normally show dark right in those zigzags kind of up the side a little bit and then I'll come in and finish off with the light. Now ahead of time I did a little bit of uh, old olive there you'll see the green and that is Old Olive. All right, so then I come in with my Cherry Cobbler Light and I'm just gonna fill in the rest of it. So I like to go over what I already colored just so that it starts to blend and that's the beauty of the blender or the uh, Stampin' Blends is that they will blend together without making your cardstock wet And there we go. There's our little stocking. And then I'm gonna do the same for our little kitty. And I'm using the two shades of gray, a little bit of smoky slate dark for his little, his little putters. And then a little here in his ear. And then some shading on this side of his face. And then I like to come in with Smoky Slate Light. So we have a little, a, lit a little gray kitty with us today, but you could make your kitty any color. We have so many colors of our blends. So you could have a brown kitty, you could, you could even leave them white. Have a little orange kitty. Whatever you're feeling. Now, what I would tell you if you are at home is that I would stamp and color first and then cut him out because it gets a little tricky to try to color when it's a smaller piece and it wants to move around. But for the sake of time, I die cut so that you guys don't have to watch that happen. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some adhesive here and he's going to hang right over the edge. Look how cute he is hanging right over the edge of that little stocking. And then I'm gonna put some, whoops, he's coming off. Let's put some adhesive on his head. Come on here, Seal, let's work a little bit. I told you I didn't have any trouble with it, but you do have to roll it. Sometimes if it breaks, you just roll it up with your finger, but sometimes the adhesive will break back a little bit lower. And um, so every now and then you do need to do that, but that's really the biggest issue I ever run into. So I'm gonna put a dimensional down here on the bottom. And here we go, little kitty catter. There we are. Then I'm gonna pull in just a couple little little jemmies here. And we'll just do a couple cutie gems. I probably should, hmm, I should have used green, but that's okay. Green might have popped a little bit more. Final step is we need to add ourselves a bow. So let's throw this underneath of here. Ta 
tie a little bow there and then I can just cut my ribbon so I didn't have too much waste. And there we go. Isn't that adorable? So that's using the sweet little stocking sweet. Now, like I said, that is actually going to be the theme of my bing of my class where we're playing bingo. And uh, I wanted to show you one of the projects. This is a little sneak peek. So whenever you register for bingo, you're going to get a packet in the mail that has everything that you need for the class. And um, then we hop online, we hop on Zoom, and we hang out for a little bit. We play a um, couple games, we do our class, and I will show you, you'll have everything that you need to create this. Now keep in mind, nothing is stamped. So this is a little mini uh, scrapbook album. So you slide off the belly band, and then you open. So you can put your photo here, two photos. So wouldn't this be adorable? Your pets are part of the family, right? So you could put pictures of your kitties or your puppies or your snakes or your horses, whatever you have. So now you have a little album that will transport with you. And there you go. So you can put photos here. And then it has these two little pull outs that you can have on your uh, little pockets that fit in there. So isn't that adorable? this little fold out card and that is actually one of our projects at our bingo event. So registration is open now. Uh, check the, the uh, comments below for the link and registration ends on October 11th and we will be playing on playing uh, bingo and having our class on Saturday, October 30th at 11 a.m. Eastern time via Zoom. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you always know when I am putting out a new video, which is every single Monday. So thanks for joining me for Movie Monday, my friends. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you right back here next week.